swole Benji here. Today I'm going to talk about doing farming and using farmland and even using focus on farmland or crafting with farmland products. As some of you might know, my main products are crenellated burdock, brightleaf comfrey, which I use to create minor poison potions because they have an extremely high movement rate and they sell decently well. I also get earthworms, which I can just sell or create into special bait for fishermen for a little bit extra profit. But before we get into the video, I finally finished running 100 tier 4 maps. And here is the result, okay? This chest has 1.89 million in, in loot. I also found 3 maps out of running 100 maps, which is really bad. Now, maps cost about 2,000 each. So, I bought 100 maps, so that means... I bought them at a discount. I bought them at a thousand each with buy orders over one month, so I actually saved money. So we're a hundred thousand down, and then eight one point eight nine million up. Here's the second chest, four hundred ninety four thousand. All right. As far as silver bags go, I've got about one million there, eighty four thousand and one hundred and fifty thousand. And then here's two more chests. This one has three hundred fifteen thousand worth of loot. And this one has 917,000 worth of loot. Now, it takes me about 1 minute 45 seconds per floor in a tier 4 mapped dungeon. Most mapped dungeons aren't one floor, though. They're sometimes two and even sometimes three floors. So that turns into four minutes, into six minutes. It really depends. But the real annoying thing about maps is they make you run all over the place. It's quite annoying. So, I don't recommend Tier 4 maps. As far as profit goes, I made less per hour than I would running flat Tier 5 non-map dungeons. So, that's the result. Would Should you run Tier 4 dungeons? No, you shouldn't. There is no reason to run a Tier 4 mapped dungeon. Alright, let's get into the farming. Uh, there's really not too much to learn here. You're just going to mainly watch me farm while I talk. So, this island, Plebidia, is the name. Uh, it is a loaned island from a friend who quit the game. And uh, you'll notice that I have some burdock and some comfrey. I have it all mapped out because I need I need two burdock for every comfrey. Uh, but I'm, I'm counting all of my islands for what is needed. Now, normally Soul Benji is my uh, comfrey watering character, but I have converted it to be my main character for crafting potions. So normally what you would want to do is only harvest with premium. You may, you want to make sure you have premium active. I have premium active right now. It's got 26 days. I actually won the free premium off of Equart's stream. He streams here on YouTube, so go check out Equart. I know you guys know who Equart is. I don't have to tell you who he is. He's a, he's a Ukrainian streamer. Streams Albion Online on YouTube almost every day. Not quite. I think he streams a lot. He does He does a lot of work, so go check him out. Anyway, so normally I would water the comfrey here, and it only takes me 182 focus to water, whereas on a new character, it takes a thousand focus. So I can water way more than a new character can. Now, the burdock, I normally have another character water this, but I am not renewing their premium right now, mainly because I have an overstock of seeds. Because after running one month of three characters with premium, that is a one character that waters Burdock, one character that waters Comfrey, and one character that crafts the, po uh, the poison potions, that left me with an overstock of seeds, which I could sell. Like, this stack of seeds, 748, would sell for 3.5 million. But, these seeds have a return rate of... 60%. So 60% of the time I will get that seed back and I and you average 9 per plant. So if we check out 9 with an average of 60. So let's let's do 5 and round it down. Uh, actually let's do 4 just to be extra safe. Okay? So one seed is going to get average us about 13 of these bad boys, which is worth 5,000. Now one seed on the market is an average of 4.7,000. So I actually make more money by planting and harvesting the seeds than I would uh, th than I would uh, just selling the seed. Now selling the seed is obviously faster and takes less time, but at the same time my character is getting better at harvesting the comfrey here. So and you'll see uh, I've been doing this for months and my character is 73 out of 100 for comfrey. He's 54 out of 100 for burdock. Now 
I do have alts that have higher burdock harvesting, obviously. Now, once my seed stock runs out, that's when the next month would roll around, and I would then renew the premiums on my other characters, and then they would water the plants, and I would use my potion crafters to craft the, po the poison potions. And that is how I min-max my farming. Alright, so let's go to the next loaned island. I have nine personal islands. I have two loaned ones. The next one is Shaniqua Williams. Interesting name. And you'll notice I'm wearing an 8-3 bag. Um, I could swap to a boot with a carry weight. I don't need it right now. Uh, and I'm also using a ghost boar so that I can dismount. And if I despawn the mount, I'm not suddenly overweight and stranded. So like I said before, you want to harvest your plants with premium. And then replant, of course. Now, since I'm currently crafting the poison potions, because I have I have a massive overstock. I have half a chest full of plants. And I need to craft them into poison potions. Right? And you only want to craft with focus. You don't want to overcraft. A lot of people I see, what they do is they'll take their daily yield and they'll go and focus craft potions. And then they will take the remainder of their plants and they continue crafting until they have no plants left. That's a waste. You, you're actually losing money by doing that. Especially right now in Bridgewatch where the crafting prices are insane. For the benches, you absolutely don't want to be doing that. Now, another thing, too, is if you can get an associate's deal on a crafting bench, go ahead and do that. Also, if you're a risk taker, you would want to craft the poisons in Air Leone. But I am not. I don't like traveling through red zones. I don't like having my islands in red zones. So I don't do it. That's, uh, and yeah, I take a small hit. It's like 13, 14%. To me, it's not, it's not worth the hassle. Now, some people, they like to craft on their own island, and that's a horrible idea. Unless the markets are extremely, uh, the crafting bitches are, are extremely overpriced, which they're usually not. Like right now, the crafting benches are about 100% cost, and even that, you, you still went out. So the way to, to do that math is you take the cost to craft the poison potion versus the bonus yield that you would get from crafting in a town rather than your own, minus your, owns, your own benches cost, the food costs, and all that stuff. I know that sounds kind of complex. Alright, we're going to go to my island now. And my island is a five, is a five piece. Oh, got some uh, laborers there we can use later for some extra free money. Now another thing you'll notice is I have journalist trophy journals in my inventory. These are uh, taking the fame that I am earning. So right there, you see that says 150. 50 of that is from premium. But the, the amount that's not from premium is being added to the journal. So if we look here, it's at 3128. I hit take. And then it's at 3228. So... Every journal I fill up, I can give to laborers. Level up the laborers. Let me uh, swap my seeds there. And level up the laborers, and then sell the laborers, so it's another way to earn money. Now, normally I fill these journals up through dungeons, which it can take some time, especially since I just did the Tier 4 ones, and the Tier 4 ones do take a while. I don't recommend the Tier 4 maps. I'm glad that's over. That was a... A huge time sink. Oh, uh, here's my uh, here's my fame credits from doing that as well. I forgot to show that. And uh, my primary weapon here is now level 94. I think it was 88 or 90 when we started, so it got four levels. Uh, the armor is 99. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> uh, it was 97 yesterday, and I ran like 30 maps. So 86 and 91 on the helmet. So that, that, uh, that finishes that. I know that um, you guys probably want a more straightforward and better produced video, but I'm not going to do that. Th th this channel, this, these videos are for me. You can tag along and learn something if you want, and hang out with your best bro, Swole Benji, which is me, obviously. I, uh, I did not have a script for this video. Anyway, so now we're going to harvest a more Burdock. I have two more islands after this for Burdock, and then I do... Six, I have six more islands, and I split them up into threes. So two islands are burdock and one is comfrey, because you need eight comfrey for every four burdock. So that means you want a two out of three. If, if the math makes sense on that, 
For every two burdock, you need one comfrey. So that means for every two farm plots of burdock, you need one farm plot of comfrey. I know it seems it seems complex, but and it also seems like this is pretty boring. This is some Farmville stuff. This is some Stardew Valley thing. This is Harvest Moon, and you know I'm okay with that. Like the amount of money that this makes is insane. Okay. Now, when I have my three premiums active and I'm watering the plants, and when the crafting benches aren't overly priced in Bridge Watch, and the pr the poison prices are pushing about a thousand each. Altogether, it's about 5 million per day. And it takes, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half in total, maybe less? I mean, we've been at this about 10 minutes, and we're on island number 3 out of 11. So, I don't think it takes that long. It's, uh, now we're going to stop and kill the bunnies. Uh, because someone commented, why are you killing the bunnies with a sad face? And I, I, I don't know, I just find it funny. It's like, you, you know, you ever talk about something morbid around a girl, like a girl gamer? Uh, hold on, I'm losing my train of thought. Speaking of girl gamers, let's go to Geeky Girls Island. All right, yeah, you're like you're hanging out with a girl gamer in like real life, and you uh, you say something very edge edge lordy, right? And uh, she like gets upset. She gives you the frowny face and then slaps your arm because you're being kind of a jerk. You guys know that feel, right? That's why I kill the bunnies in the video game, right? And maybe if you're watching this with a girl gamer, which someone out there has to be. Uh, and then I kill the bunny like this bunny boop thousand damage. That is a dead bunny And she's like oh the poor bunny and you're like haha lol it's funny and then she slaps you in the arm I'm just uh, you know you getting your arm felt up boys. Uh, you can thank me later. See you later virgins, right? Am I right guys? Anyway, so we uh, we got to plant more burdock and you can see down here the estimated market value on the window This is a, this is the coolest feature the SBI has added um you can look you can look there whenever I'm harvesting versus when planting you can see the number just rise up and then when I craft poison potions you can see that number rise up as well which also while crafting your poison potions that fills a ton of these journals as well so you always want to make sure you have a bunch on you just anytime you're doing anything in this game you should be filling generalist trophy journals and you should always be giving them to your laborers and if you don't have laborers, it's like, it, I highly recommend it. I have videos on my channel that explain how to set up housing. All right. The one laborer you really should avoid is the mercenary. The cost to set up the housing and the amount of time it takes for them to make that money back is not, it's just not worth the time. And mercenary laborers, because they're the worst in the game, they don't sell. No one wants to buy any. So it's not like you, could, you can sell the laborers. The only reason I did it, and I say this in every video because people always ask is because one day they might get buffed, and when they get buffed, I will be ready. I will be ready day one. I'm like a prepper, dude. I'm like the guy in the underground bunker that's waiting for the bombs to drop, and I'm going to have my mercenary laborers ready to sell on day freaking one. And unfortunately, so will all the... Uh, whoops, wrong island. Hold on. Uh, I can't think and talk. So will all the round table people that have the uh, you know inner secret game knowledge so yeah I bought a dungeon map for 120,000 that is a 4.3 that's another that's gonna be another video I will say that this kind of wears down on your hands like like I gotta stretch my fingers out you know doing all this this heavy-duty farming man what, uh, what SBI should do is introduce farming tools, like, you could pay, or you could craft a, like, farming tractor that will just automatically harvest the whole plot and replant the seeds. That would be really cool, wouldn't it? And, and get, give me some farming, some herbalism, uh, laborers. Come on, man, when you do the laborer remake, us farmers, we want a cut of that as well. I mean, I know, we're already making enough money hand over fist doing this anyway, but, uh... Come on, we need more, man. We need so just something to spice up this part of the game, because it gets really old. Like, I mean, when you think about it, like, think think of someone that's like a super ultra-powerful overlord in a video game. You know, why can't we have laborers that just do the farm work for us? Hmm? Wouldn't that be cool if your laborer gets a crit, it waters the plants for you or something? I don't know, man. But yeah, uh... 
this is super lucrative. I should have my inventory open so you can see. See, look, it went up. Oh wait, I forgot to plant. Oh, that's a that's a death sentence, man. Whenever you forget to plant one day, oh man, it sucks. Because you, you come back the next day to harvest your plants and there's just an empty plot and you're like, oh shit. Uh, my, my mind must have blanked out. Now most of the time when I'm doing this, I'm just watching videos on YouTube. Uh, lots of good stuff to watch on YouTube. You could always watch your favorite Albion online. You know, YouTubers like me, right? You could always, always watch that. Uh, which is what you're doing right now. You could farm alongside. It's like we're uh, it's like we're sitting on the couch playing video games together. And uh, and yeah, it's like we're back in the '90s, you know. And uh, you know, one of our moms, whichever house we're at, is ordering pizza. And uh, you know, we don't have to worry about dieting and eating healthy and exercising and women and and school. Well, you might worry about schoolwork if you were one of those try-hard kids, but. I mean, you'd have to be, I don't know, like, people in my neighborhood, they didn't care about school. We were just forced to go there, we get thrown into juvie, so. Anyway, back to the farming. We're on the couch, we're playing video games, we're talking about the newest Ilm TV music video or something. I, I don't know, what if, what do if people sit on the couch and talk about? Um, you know, we could always be older, we, we could be like late teenagers, you know. Uh... You could be smoking uh, some Zaza on the couch, and I'm there complaining about the smell. You're blowing smoke at me, trying to, trying to, you know, trying to troll me. I put my uh, shirt over my nose, you know, in, in, in protest of your drug use. You know. At this point, I'm starting to mix, like, protein shakes, and you're like, man, that shit tastes gross. What the fuck is wrong with you, dude? No one cares about muscles. No one cares about how fit you are. Why don't you just be chill and smoke with this dog and I'm like nah man that shit ain't for me dude that's too expensive it rots your brain it makes you shittier at video games okay like that was always my gripe like when I had friends as a teenager growing up was they they would all they would all smoke and drink and do a bunch of other heavy drugs which I won't talk about and then they would get all fucked up and then they couldn't play video games good anymore so like we'd be playing Halo or Tekken or something and uh Oh, see, look, my burdock leveled up. And once the high hit them, they were done. Like, they would just be easy targets. I would get no training in. And I was a real tryhard as a teenager, man. Like, that's all I cared about was my video games. And, God, it sucked because they, they would get drunk and they would pass out. And I would just be up all night by myself, basically. Like, I think that's how I turned into a loner was all my friends I ever had would just get fucking crazy drunk. And, uh, and high, and just fucked up. I mean, sometimes they would only do meth, and that would keep them up for a few days, in, in which case I would be the one sleeping, and they'd be, like, wide as fuck awake. But then they would, like, wake me up in the middle of my sleep, and... I, I don't know, it was just annoying. Like, e either, either situation was just bullshit. All right? Anyway, so, uh... <laughs> At some point, I started. I just like when I would come over to their house because I didn't. I never. I never lived in a house. I was. I was a poor boy. I didn't. You know, lived in the trailer park. Uh, I would. I would learn to bring with me some JRPGs to play. Okay, I'd bring over the original Persona, maybe like Final Fantasy Tactics. You know, maybe uh like uh, Disgaea. Anyone remember Disgaea? I actually really like the story of Disgaea so much. You should leave a comment if Flan is your waifu. And don't give me that bullshit about, oh, well, she's a, she's an angel trainee, underage, blah, blah, blah. It's like, motherfucker, it's a goddamn anime game. It, it doesn't matter, okay? It's not implying anything. It, whatever. <laughs> the point is, you should leave a comment who your uh, video game waifu is. Uh, just You know, just to show that you've listened this long into the video, right? Anyway, so uh, as soon as they all got high and got drunk and passed out, I would just switch video games from the manly shit, you know, like the the new newest Halo, the Call of Duty, the uh, we never I never really played Call of Duty with them that much. I didn't think they liked it. They didn't like Battlefield either, sadly. Uh, it's, you know, they'd switch it out to some JRPG, and I'd just make a bunch of progress. I'd get really fucking far in those games, man. Or I would just grind out autismally. Like I have a save file on Final Fantasy Tactics. That has got it's gotta be the most min-maxed, try hardest, like turny try hard save file ever, dudes. 
it's um okay so in that game there's a glitch where you can level down your characters hold on let me do let me use my brain for a second i gotta remember which island i'm going to there's so many there we go all right so the game had a trick where you could level down your characters on a map and it would alter like when you leveled up a character based on their character class it would level up their stats as that class so what you did was you leveled you unlocked the job classes that you wanted to power level the, the stats in as early as possible and you would level them up to 99 with that job class oh i'm overweight i gotta go deposit all these herbs and then you would switch their job class to the shitty one so that when they leveled down they only lost a marginal amount of stats because if you leveled them down as a very powerful job class they would lose those stats so you would like level someone up as a ninja to 99 and then you'd change them to a squire and then level them down back to one and so on and so forth until you maxed out their stats it's, it, it, it's eventually you would you know have super high speed doing that a few times you know going from ninja to squire and back and forth and then you would have to you know max out all the other stats and i i put so many hours just having a team of five female characters because the females can use the the perfumes which uh, were overly powered accessories in that game um basically my my dream build for the game which i did achieve over thousands of hours of leveling down and back up was five female knight samurai cloth wearing status immune re-raise having they had at the very start of the match they all got their first turns before anyone else and because they're samurai and because they're knights their stats are absolute maxed they always hit the target they have maximum brave and the minimum amount of faith so that basically makes them magic immune one of them can buff the entire party with shell protect haste uh they get re-raise and re regeneration from uh their accessories their armor made them status immune their other armors gave them invisibility um it, the maximum amount of block the maximum amount of weapon block the maximum amount of evasion you name it like these characters were literal unkillable gods and yeah, that's overkill for that game. Let me go deposit my stuff because I'm overweight. Let's go. And I'm so proud of that save file. I still I still have it on a on a PS2 memory card. It's tucked away in a in a storage unit, and uh, it's it's like my hardest ever achievement in this world. I would be so sad if I lost it. Um. So please don't like find out where my storage unit is and and break that memory card. I would be so sad. Right. <laughs> But yeah, uh, Falcon's Tactics, very good game. All right, next up, uh, next island. Also, can you guys please not add me to your island? Like this, this person added me to his island as a guest, and I've never been there. I don't un unless you're letting me use your farmland. Look, it costs me money if I accidentally click your name and then click Buy Journey. I'm at 100k, so please don't do that. It's annoying. I appreciate it for those that have watched the video this far. All right, so we are on the last set of islands. We're almost done, and it's only been 20, 20 minutes. See, look at this. This is like 5 million to 20 minutes. That's, I'm not going to title the video that because that's bullshit. Because uh, there's a lot more to it than that. I don't have my alts to water these right now. This is just purely picking up and planting down. And then we'll, go, we'll craft the poison potions and uh, throw them up on the auction house. And that'll be that for this video. Uh, guys, if you have any games that you want me to play, please, please tell me. And uh, if you have any games you want to gift me on Steam, like if you gift me a game on Steam that I don't think is an absolute pile of shit, I will play it and I will make a video on it. And I will even thank you for the gift. So um, hit me up. Uh, my Steam, if you go to the community tab on YouTube, I, I have a link on a pinned comment half the time when I post... Um, any kind of poll about a new game and the reason i do a poll is it's for the youtube algorithm a poll gets served to more people and it counts for user interaction so that's why you see me posting polls all the time on the community tab just in case you're wondering kill the bunny always kill the bunny never let them live and you can see i'm not getting many levels up from this but uh look at that we've already jumped up like a million something Oh wait, wait, no, we we just put all the flowers back. No, never mind. We uh 
We, we put the flowers in the stash, so the value went down, obviously. But hey, we can watch it rise up again. You know, we got two more islands after this, and you, you can watch it. Yeah, C5.47 went up to 5.48, now it's at 5.49. And then we're going to plant, and then it's going to go back down when we plant, but that's okay. It was, oh, I guess sometimes you get bad bad harvest, but hey, that's all right, man. And sometimes uh, the seed price... Not the, you, you'll see, you'll see it go up when I craft, don't worry. It's going to happen, you'll be all right. We're all going to make it, bros. We're all going to make it. Uh, next, next island. There we go. And then there's one more after this and we're done. Alright. Just making sure my mic is still working. Very good. Very cool. Let's look at that value. 5.46. Alright, 5.48. 5.5. See, this one was a little better of an example. Maybe. Maybe. Oh, no. You get the idea. Look, we're going to get 43% of this stuff back when we craft. I don't know why I keep repeating myself. So let's go back to the, the hypothetical situation. We're gamers. We're, I'm spending the night at your house. It's, it's a weekend. It's Friday. It's actually Friday when I'm recording this. You know, um, I don't really leave or do things in real life anymore anyway, but... Uh, yeah, so it's Friday, we're on the couch, we're playing video games. Hopefully you're not a degenerate doing a bunch of drugs and- Oh, I forgot to plant! Oh, how could you let me forget to plant, dude? You're like, you're like sitting in the- you're just sitting there, man. Watching me play, and you're not even- you're not even let, telling me to go replant over here. You just- I- I, I see your endgame. Anyway, so- I guess, like, where were we? Uh, yeah, when I had friends, they would get pissed drunk and pass out. I'd play MMO, or not MMORPGs, obviously not. I'd play JRPGs. Like, s is it Suikoden? Sukoden? I call it Sukoden. Uh, old PS1 JRPG. The original Persona. I really like the original Persona. Uh, also, uh, as my friends got older, like, into their later teens, like, they, I would tell them about a JRPG, right? I'd be like, hey, this is a really good game, you should play Persona 4. And then they would go, they would literally just go buy Persona 4. They wouldn't rent it, they would buy it. And then they would play it for like two hours and be like, yeah, this is stupid. And then they would just sell it to me for cheaper. And I was like, uh, okay. Whatever. Well, I guess I'll buy it. <laughs> and it's like, it, it started to like, you know, it, it started to feel bad, man. Because it's like, when we were younger, they would play, they would stay up all night playing these fucking games with me. But now that they're older, they just don't care. They just, all they want to do is like bang chicks and get drunk and high and go to strip clubs and and it's just like man I just want to play video games I want to go to the arcade and play DDR I want to go freaking to a bowling alley and not bowl because I suck at bowling you know and these guys they don't want to do that they just want to sit at home and they just want to get high get drunk eat some pizza eat some fatty bullshit food it's whatever, man. And, and that was it. That was their day. And then, like, when they got paid once or twice a week, depending on where they worked, they'd hit the strip club and blow their whole paycheck. And I'd be sitting there, like, I'd be uh, I'd be trying to play WoW. Like, uh, I'd try to get them into WoW, and, and they'd, they would actually, you know, eventually buy a gaming PC at the time, which wasn't really a gaming PC, but, you know, the PCs at the time of WoW Vanilla how those were, and they'd, they'd play it for like an hour, and then they would just fucking get high and drunk, and that was it. And I'd, I'd be sitting there playing like freaking 20 hours a day, dude. I'd be sitting there getting far, and then I'd have to rush them through dungeons, and help them skip through quests, and buy them a bunch of green gear, and then like a month later, they would have like 20 to 30 hours put into their character, and I'd be, I'd have several hundred, I'd be like way up there and shit. And then they, eventually they're like, man, just let me play your character, dude. And I was like, okay. So, you know, back in the day, uh, I would come over to their house and then I would log in my character and they'd fuck around on it. And it's like, man, that, I don't know, dude. And on a similar thing, like, oh, I was always like the, uh, the sober friend. I was always the one that went to the bars with them and I did not drink because I don't like drinking. I do not like bars, I don't like the environment of bars, and they would just get trash drunk and they'd be getting into trouble, they'd be like stealing drinks off people's tables and chugging it, and I'd be like, no, 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 and I'd usher them away, the bouncers would like 
throw them out and I have to drive them home and shit and it's just it became like I wasn't really a friend I was more like I don't know I was just being used that's what it feels like we filled seven generalist trophy journals in this little adventure and throw those in there yeah man all right and let's put everything back sort it and let's uh grab two and whoops too many two and one that's that's all we need to craft because my character is not a master alchemist yet and let's let's go make some potions you, you excited we're gonna go make and sell some potions guys uh, instead of talking about depressing times when I was a teenager. <laughs> okay, let's look for the, the the cheapest shop. Oh, that one's under... That one's out. So we got 101, 101, 99, 99, 99, and 98. So obviously this one, it's 1%. It's, it, it's 1%. For the sake of you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay the 1% extra fee and do the closer one. Okay? Because I know you don't want to watch me. Right all the way over here to save one person on a thousand five hundred crafts. Okay. What can I prove Wait, what? You? This is the one. No, 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 we need it. Shit. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going. Going here. Those are the one hundred one bitches. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to those out of principle, man. Uh, uh. I don't. Y'all, y'all can watch me. I ain't, I ain't doing those. They ain't getting my money, man. I don't like Pred getting my money either. I'm gonna go with Hagging. Hagging's pretty cool. Sometimes Hagging, this guy right here, he actually makes everyone an associate, which is really neat. Let, let's see if he did it. He didn't. But normally, like, you click here and you go to Access Rights, and uh, he has associates, and he will just put everyone. Hey, I know you. Yeah, he'll take everyone and he'll make them associate. Only sometimes. Anyway. Let's, uh, let's craft the potion, so we're going to go to the Minor Poison po Potion, and uh, just hit our focus button there, and just crank that sucker all the way up. And here, now look at here, we're at 1.47 million, and we're paying 100k. 120k, right? So that would be 1.59, we need to break 1.59. Let's see if we do it. Hmm? Oh, 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 1.59? And then everything after that is money, money, money. Okay. So we're uh, we're at 1.55. We need to break 1.59, 1.57. We're getting there. We're not even halfway done. Okay. So there we go. Everything after this is now pure profit. Now this isn't the most efficient use of uh, focus because of the cost, and because my alchemy powers on this character. I only have poisons maxed on this character. I don't have healing. I don't have invisibility. I don't have any of that shit. That's something I'm waiting for the free week to do. When, or not the free week, the the the, the bonus fame week, the twenty five percent additional fame. There normally was one starting in in April, like last year, from April first through the seventh. There was a fame week. It didn't happen this year for some reason. I don't know why. All right, so we're at one eight one point eight nine. So we made 400,000 at a, at a, with a click of a button. 400,000. Ain't that cool, guys? So I don't even need to calculate this. It's 51k, obviously. That'd be... Uh, whatever. Do the math. I ain't doing the math. I'm too... I, I don't care. And yes, we will. When we sell these, there is a fee. With premium, it's a 1.5%. But hey, potions sell so freaking fast, guys. Th this this is something that I... I, I do the... I do the the herbalism every day, and then I do the the potion crafting every two days in case there's a sale on the benches. All right, so I'm I'm gonna lower my craft here, and because uh, I don't want to go over my focus. If I do, I'm losing money. We ow, we don't want to lose money. I'm being bitten by an ant. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> uh, ant lives matter. Okay. Um. <laughs> Uh, we made a thousand nine hundred and fifty potions, and and look at this. That's nine hundred k. That's eight hundred, and round that up to nine hundred. Round that up to, round that down to nine hundred. There you go, one point eight million. Isn't that isn't that cool, guys? I think it's pretty cool. That's uh, that's free money. That's like you you can see my silver dropping over these videos. They're just, it's just slowly dropping down because I'm, I'm spending it all on fame credits. I'm spending on all in this damn satchel. This freaking satchel that it boosts the fame gain 
on a character that I can't even really use. Like, this this Soul Benji character is unusable. If I go out into the world, you know what happens? I get like a hundred of you guys following me around. Uh, <laughs> and not only that, I can't talk to anyone. I can't talk in the game. So it's like I'm basically an NPC or a robot, okay? Alright, so let's sell. We're gonna go sell order, and they're a little down. They're a little down from one. I usually sell at like 950-ish. Like, uh, whoa, look at that. They hit 2,000. They were 2,000 on that day, and 96,000 of them sold. What the? I've never seen it that high. What the heck, dude? Oh, well, I, I missed that. I don't know what happened there. We're just gonna undercut by one like we always do, and that's 900,000 after the tax. That's fine. I'll take 900,000. That's 850,000. And there you go. Uh, that's gonna that's gonna start selling immediately. And we're gonna go back and put all this up. And hey, we filled 18, 18 of these bad boys with our crafting, right? And we filled seven with the harvesting. So hey, you know that's like three dungeons worth. That ain't bad. It's pretty good. It's it's free money, man. All right. So I hope you enjoyed my little farm adventure. Uh, if you're a new player, you should get your farms going. Once you get premium, you can upgrade your farms. Upgrade it to a tier four island. That's the most cost efficient way to have islands. Uh, so I'm Soul Benji. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay swole. Make sure you return your shopping carts. I muted in the game. If you didn't realize that, so anytime you run up on me and you say hi, I cannot talk to you. I'm not being a jerk. I'm not being an asshole. I literally cannot say hi back to you. I can wave at you, I can use my character to wave at you, but I cannot say anything in the game. Look, I'll try to say something right now, and it says I've been muted for 179 years. Uh, it says I was hateful and toxic, which is, in, that, that's a lie. I wasn't. I promise you, I, I called a Game Master a Janny, which is janitor for short. Janny, janitor, right? And... They, they didn't like that. They got butthurt because they, they're, they're thin-skinned. Whatever. Uh, so, ne next project we're doing now is we're going to be doing the 4.1 maps. And I only want to do 50. I only want to do 50. Alright, and uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on... Well, I don't have that many journals to fill right now. So, uh, once I fill these up, I'll stop for the day. But, um, I'm actually going to clear... No, I'm going to keep these. I'm going to keep these for now. Maybe give them out to viewers. I can do a giveaway. You can win a chest full of shit. Why not? I don't know. And see, look. We're selling. We're selling those potions. Look at that. He bought seven. This person bought two. 47. 20. 13. Three. Three. Like, they're just going to keep selling. They'll be they'll be all gone in, in, in by the hour. I tell you. They're all going to be gone. The movement on minor poison potions is insane. It's like 10,000 per hour. And I just put out 1,500, so I, I have barely any of the market share. All right, that's it. That's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you subscribe and, and like, and leave if you like, and leave a comment that tells YouTube that you really enjoyed the video, and it really helps out my channel. So do that for me. I appreciate it. Thanks, lads. One day I won't be homeless because of you, and I'll be so happy, and I will I will let you guys know every freaking day how overjoyed I am that you you literally saved a homeless person by just leaving a comment on a video. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, anyway, take care.